Hi, I'm Bill Dickerson. Welcome to this week's episode of LVI TV. I'm gonna start this episode with a cool tip. Take a hard boiled egg out of the refrigerator and put it into hot water. If you've just hard boiled the egg, you don't need to do this. Leave it in for a few seconds so that you expand the shell and then take it out. Tap on one end and remove one end of the shell. Tap the other end and remove the other end of the shell, making sure you pop through the membrane. Gently hold the egg in one hand, cup the other hand underneath, and blow. As you can see, you've just peeled the egg. Mm. So what the heck does this have to do with dentistry? First, eggs are a great source of phosphorus, which is essential to healthy teeth. Next to calcium, it's the most plentiful mineral in the body, with about 85% of it found in the bones and teeth. One egg comprises 10% of the daily value of phosphorus, 5% of vitamin D, and 3% of calcium. But it doesn't stop with this part of the egg. Eggshells are one of those things that usually end up in the trash. But the eggshells contain 27 essential microelements, but mainly calcium carbonate, a form and structure very similar to our bones and teeth. Each medium-sized eggshell has about 750 to 800 milligrams of calcium, plus magnesium, iron, manganese, sulfur, phosphorus, collagen, and zinc. They're possibly the best form of calcium and easiest for our body to digest and absorb. Eggshells also contain important transport proteins, so it doesn't have to be taken with other foods. In addition, because eggshells are such a pure, ultra-refined source of calcium, they don't cause the constipation or other gastrointestinal symptoms associated with other calcium sources. Also, many sources of calcium contain high levels of heavy metals, resulting in potential health risks. In animal and human tests, eggshells calcium showed increased bone density, less arthritic pain, and even stimulate heart rate growth. In one study, a positive effect was observed on bone density in animal models of postmenopausal rats. In clinical studies of postmenopausal women with osteoporosis, they found that eggshells reduce pain and increase mobility and bone density. The bioavailability and research on piglets found that eggshells were similar or better than food grade purified calcium carbonate. Another study concluded that eggshells calcium may be an effective nutrient in calcium metabolism for people treated with vitamin D3. So what do you do with this part of the egg? Put your shells in the carton. When you have enough, rinse them well in water. Remove any whites that might be stuck, but don't remove membrane as these have extra nutrients. Fill a pot with water and bring to a boil. Put your eggshells into the water to kill any harmful pathogens. Let it cook for 10 minutes. Drain the shells. Place the shells on a baking sheet and let dry overnight. In the morning, put it in a 200 degree Fahrenheit oven for 10 minutes to completely dry out. Then put a few shells into a coffee grinder and pulverize them into a granular powder. Store them in something like a mason jar away from heat or moisture. The average requirement of calcium is 1,000 milligrams a day. For an adult, more is required by rapidly growing teenagers, pregnant women, and people aged over 70. One teaspoon of these eggshells contain approximately 800 to 1,000 milligrams of calcium. But apparently your body would not be able to deal with more than 500 milligrams of calcium at one time, so split the dose taking only a half a teaspoon. Many foods are rich in calcium, so it's unlikely you will need more than half a teaspoon of the eggshell a day. Consumed by mixing in a small amount of water with a meal or by mixing in a blended smoothie. Heck, be creative. Don't consume more than one teaspoon a day as it can irritate sensitive digestive tracts. So let me know what you think of the whole eggshell idea to help make strong, healthy teeth in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another episode of LVI TV. Why not? It's free. This is Bill Dickerson. See you next time on LVI TV.